Stairway, 1949. What the hell sort of writer will I be if I go off and having tried good and bad, I'm not up to bearing it witness? Whatever happens, don't go off half cocked, but inspire in me, daughters of Zeus and Mnemosyne, a poetry that never concedes the benefit of the doubt, that gathers deep thoughts and makes this world at once so inscrutable seem so clear, which, like a key to a lock, opens doors to the life-giving air and the rumour mill, which, like a shockwave, spreads as far as the rain-carved streams and the distant hills. Power crazy Greek muses make clear to me what I must do to systematise the irrefutable words, the beauty of landscapes, and of days with their dawns and dusks, and of nights with their moons and shadows, and also the public spectacular, and the disorderliness of the suburbs, and the fascination of modern societies. Instead of watching television, or hanging around with your hands in your pockets, do not abandon me. Grant me the nerve to savour the wonders of life. And now I'll go down those stairs which lead outside, and I promise I won't let you down. Not bad, John. Not bad. All right, here we go. Escalera, no, no, sense quarant to no. Bastard of a translator I'd be if I quit and, having tasted good and bad, balked at taking the stand. Don't leave me with half truths. Stay and inspire, daughters of Zeus and Nemosyne. Inspire a verse that doesn't leave the benefit of doubt, verse that gathers secret thoughts and makes this world so inscrutable seem clear. Verse that, like the right key turning, opens to invigorating wind and cleansing chatter. Verse that, like an expansive wave, ripples into the river-cracked hills, megalomaniac Greek muses, Tell me how to make irrefutable words seize systematic beauty of landscapes out of days with dawns and twilights, out of nights with moons and shadows, and to the spectacle of people and the puzzle of urban space and the enchantment of the modern. Don't sit there watching television, don't idle about hands in pockets, Stand with me and give me the guts to grasp the marvels of life. I now go down the stairs that lead out, and I do intend to deliver. Mm. Uh -huh. Guy, well, very good, Anton. Yes, I like that. Yeah, well, something. The thing I didn't know and was Safarich. Safarich, all right. Safarich. Um, Should I tell you what I? What kind yeah. How did you solve that? Um, Which was opens the key turn to opens to air or wind and safarech. Okay, so the safarech is the place um, where the ladies would go in the yep. village to do their washing. Yep. And so the safarech becomes comes to mean the activities that the women did there. That's to say the gossip and rumor. Yeah, they would exchange there. Yeah. So I got the two things. So you've got either the physical space yep. or you've got the activities. But, but the gossip is fair safarech. Is the, is what? Fair safarich. Yeah. yeah. And here it's just safarich. So well, I don't know. I, I, I gossip. I had. What did you put? I, 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 I talked about here the. Uh, um, the rumor mill. That's yeah. lovely. The rumor mill. Because yeah. you got the gossip and you got the place. Yeah. Yes, the, the idea of the rumor mill is, is that activity that just goes on and on with rumors. But it also a mill does suggest a place, uh, not a you know, not a wash place. I mean, I, I, at some point I did have sort of references to wash room, wash place, utility room. But because the, the thing is, I mean, I, I, I thought that that was somehow associated with the picture. But but the picture doesn't actually reveal anything along those lines. So yeah, it also I had to, to, had to be something positive. I mean, it's he wants verse that goes out and it invigorates. Yeah. And I think he wants people to talk about it. Yeah, the, okay. I mean, I, I, to tell you the truth, I, I find I found that 
uh, I think I, 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 like, I like your translation very much. And I think, um, and, and I, I think you were braver at sort of um, taking the poem by the scruff of the neck and um, moving it around for your own convenience. Uh, I, I, I was a little bit more um, faithful. sort of faithful to the shape on the original page, but I also have to say I spent a lot of time trying to create a version that was good to read. So I spent a lot of time, um, in my mind at least, um, trying to get the rhythm um, so that it flowed, and to try to get the rhythm so it flowed over the lines. You know, I had a sort of iambic feel to it, and that made, that did force me to make various choices. Um, Can I talk about another thing I didn't know? I mean, I had to ask for oh, a class. Yeah. yeah. Um, Eskorank. 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 Yeah. I didn't know what that was. No. The class didn't know either. No, I, I, I didn't, but I... We found a picture of it, though. Yes. Um, and you've got rain-carved hills. Well, I think... Rain-carved you, streams in the hills. Yeah, because the thing is yeah. that the Eskorank is the place where the, the rainwater runs off the hill. And therefore, it's associated with those sort of long divots that the rain yep. cuts. But the translation I found for it was the runoff, and the runoff of, because is the rain rather than the marks of the rain. The rain yeah, and I see a runoff is not... I put cracks, as I saw. Yeah. I, I had these images yeah. of the hills yeah, with the yeah. cracks where that's the rain right. drops. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Ravines was too big, gullies yes. were too big, gullies are sort of Australian. Yes, well. I, I, no, I, I, went, I thought of gully, I thought of... Um, uh, oh, rill. <laughs> a rill, but which would be a very yes. small... Uh, but the thing, the rills in the hills, Oh, that's sound good. Yeah. So I had to abandon the rills and the hills. Although, I mean, you know, a certain type of poet would have enjoyed that. Why did you not like megalomaniac? Because um, power crazed. Well, because um, I don't know. Uh, I, I think um, rhythmically, power crazy Greek muses worked better for me than megalomaniac. Um, See, I thought he used it there because it's a Greek word, visibly Greek word. Yeah, it's okay, yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah. I mean, I, 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 but you see, what I find strange about the poem is it's got this sort of, it's got this, on the one hand, it's got quite a colloquial expressions, you know, king koi de escrito serio. Yeah. Uh, but it's also mixed with these sort of pretensions to um, poetry. Well, and the it's muses an and stuff. invocation of the muses, isn't it? Right, but the thing is with, that, with that sometimes, language. sometimes colloquial, uh, sometimes it's, it's, sort of culturally fairly um, obscure, and then sometimes, you know, um, I mean, for example, escoranks and stuff like that, I mean, that is quite precise language. I mean, of course, it's, 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 enjoying, yeah. it's enjoying the, the specific uh, linguistic resources of Catalan. So, yeah. I mean, I understand that he's, um, you know, um, showing off his own language there. Fair enough. I, I wondered why this text doesn't work. It occurred to me that in Joyce and Ulysses you got the same thing yeah. of the classical genre with the modern colloquial language. Mm. And in Joyce it's humorous. Yeah. There's a contradiction and it's so strong that, it, that, that, that the irony works really well. Yeah. And this, it's not there. It's yes. not ironic, it's not pointed enough for right. to really be yeah, that's a good point. strange. Yeah, yeah. And, and so what happens is, because he's got this mixture of the colloquial and the sort of high-flying, it you're not quite sure. I mean, I, I, my problem was, what, what is the guy's tone here? And, and, and it's precisely because obviously in James Joyce it's so strong it's got to be. I mean, the irony has to come through. Whereas here it's yeah. difficult to know. But you know, Joyce has got all those really hyper-local words as well, yeah. which, which, which yeah. are operating there. But this shouldn't be. But I, mean, I, I found the tone difficult to grasp because sometimes it was high flying and sometimes yeah. it was low. And well, I, 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 I wasn't sure really how, how much in control he was. The first be. line is super colloquial. Yes. Oh, King Koi. Koi is gone, yo. Right? So I said, bastard, you had hell of a writer. Except it's not choosing to say coin. It's choosing to say a sort of. Coin. It's a bit like. Uh, yeah, okay, so you went. To, no, no, I, I spent quite a lot of time trying to gauge what level of um, expletive to use there. Yeah. Um, and you know, bastard. Of course, probably is a word that comes easier to the Australian. Well, mind I did read it mind. with my Australian accent. No, but I could hear the Australian. It sounded, you sound like Clive James. I was it. reading with my Australian accent. Yes, of course, well, because, because other stuff. Your and, and the uh, fair al was it Feldos. Can you this guy to Al Feldos. Tokaldos. Tokaldos. Yeah. 
which which everybody said talk oh, talk a dust and I thought oh it's a two man's here two hands here ah uh, no 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 so, oh I looked it up yeah no when you when you study Catalan oh, you study, oh god and that's one of the phrases idiomaticas that everybody has okay to and where does it come from I don't, I don't know oh I did look it up oh, well, uh, well I mean I didn't bother with that I knew it where did it come from well I, it was Toca al dos Oh, right, right. And it was um, to to beat the horses or whatever to make your coach go away. Oh, right, okay. See, so it does mean to leave in this colloquial. To get going. Yeah. So we needed a colloquial thing there to leave. Yeah. So I put quit and you put um, go off. Go off. Yeah, well. But but and but then, then and then it contradicts with the uh, fair testimony, yeah. which is high level language. Yeah. Yes. And bearing a witness, you put. I said take the stand. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, so okay. like the thing of taking us stand and yeah. stand with me comes later. Yeah. But I must admit I, I sort of ironed out the language. But, sorry, my solution for Kikoi, I mean I thought what the hell sort of writer would I, would I be? That doesn't, even though it's got the word hell there, it's pretty, it, it doesn't really sort of um, have a very strong effect for me, I thought. And uh, so that that's seemed the way that somebody that prefers to say coin, uh, koi instead of coin, they might choose something. But well, yeah. less strong. No, I confess I used bastard because I've talked about translators being bastards. Anton, what about um, uh, Anna Amicis Tintis? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I... The, yeah, to go... Half-truths, I said. Yeah, yes, yes, I thought that was good. Um, but I had lots of other things there as well. Uh, don't go. Is that, don't go halfway. Basically, what you put. Yeah. Half cocked is I, nice. I, I said I don't stop halfway. Was my original. Yeah. Don't go off half cocked. is good, but it's I'll a be looking for some sexual it's reference, which isn't anywhere else in the poem. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's more of a gun rather than. Okay. Yeah. Um, one could. <laughs> one could. Half truths I put because you got good and bad at yeah. the top, and just telling the truth yes. about what you see. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, I thought yours was. Yours was, uh, mine was, I thought was a little bit too colourful really, and whereas I thought yours was, mm -hmm. did the job, but it didn't, didn't send people off into um, associations. Okay. And then, look, when it gets down to the days of dawns and twilights and oh. nights of moons and shadows, yes. I thought, God, this is awful. Yeah. Um, y yes. Okay. But it does, so then I, did get, right. I did get a nice author. But, but then, then the question is, all right, so if, the, if we feel that the author is awful, no, not awful. But that's what you said. I said okay, this is this bit is sorry. Yeah, this supposed bit. to be yeah. sweet poetry. Yeah, right? exactly. It, it sort of has this sort of air of easy poetry to it. So then, what do we do? Are we, do we do the guy the favour of bringing our own poetic abilities to bear to to smarten it up, or do we transmit to the audience that at this bit it actually feels like it goes into a rather sort of pre-cooked version of poetry? I mean, I, I went into a pre-cooked version of poetry. I mean, and there was some well, okay, dawn and dusk. I chose dusk so as to do some little dusk bit, is nice. Little so bit of like there. there. Yes, uh, and and that was good for my rhythm. Mm -hmm. uh, of days with their dawns and dusks, yes. their nights with their moons and shadows. Yeah, okay. Well, that's exactly right. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, but then you see, I was yeah, working on the rhythm, so I I locked some stuff off to keep the rhythm after that. Yeah. Which, what did you lose? Oh, you uh, lost Societas Modernas. Uh, yeah, you? Modern Society. I know, I know, it's I know. like a bloody academic thesis. I know, I know, don't I know. They, you know? Yeah. So the enchantment of the modern, I was I was just keeping the rhythm. Yes. Basically. Yeah, no, no, puzzle, no. The puzzle was interesting. What did you put? Oh, um, yes, yeah, that was, uh, uh, hang on, that was um, disorderliness. What was the capital on there? Desmanic. Desmanic is a nice word, though. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. Puzzle, I thought, was okay. Disorganization. I, I thought about shambles. I thought about mess. I thought they were too strong. But it's It's something you've got there. You take it apart, but yeah. you put back. To, you could it put could it back together again if you wanted. Yes. Yeah. 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 No. My my final solution. Disorderliness is pretty silly, really. It's it's. Well, you're you're close to the, the word. Is, the word is simple. He breaks. Yeah. He the word is simple, them. and mine is sort of you know multi polysyllabic and abstract. What about Anton? What was your solution for uh, Le Spectacle de la Gêne? Oh, I treated the. Oh, no, the spectacle of people. <laughs> What's wrong? 
The what? spectacle of people. No, people are going to think of bloody spectacles. No, no, no. Okay, look here, my version. And in the same time, the spectacle of people. Yeah, yeah. what's wrong with that? Well, I just... Where's the kettle? I didn't really sort of know what that meant, the spectacle of people. Well, just put what it is. That's the old trick, isn't it? When you don't know, put what it is. Yeah, and let the poor reader suffer. Yeah. Okay, uh, so here, in, in, the, in the interests of rhythm, I, I went for something a bit more highfalutin. And I said, uh, the days with their dawns and dusks, or the nights with their moons and shadows, and also the public spectacular. Yeah. And a spectacular, of course, can be an adjective or noun there. It is a spe yeah, it's a spectacular. I, I, I see a guy up on a tightrope walking there. You know, it's well, the less spectacular, the less gen. I mean, the idea is that this, the gen is something to look at. It's like a show. No, I think it's a guy point. going from the country out down to the city, and he wants just to look at the people going past. So. Really? Really, what? Hmm. I thought yeah. the last, the last, yeah, uh, the last is a real rich translation problem. Ino pencil de frauda. That's a real richy one because English can't say that. To defraud, I can't. And I don't think I will defraud you, which is, I won't let you down. Yeah. But then I'm going down the stairs and I won't let you down. I thought we're going Too to much suggest down. there's some parallelism here and there isn't. Yeah. So I had to turn it around and I got to deliver and I intend to deliver. Did you just read your last two lines again? I liked your, those stairs and I'm going to change my to copy you there. I now go down those stairs that lead out. Yeah. Yeah. And I do intend to deliver. Okay, so you have a sort of tripping rhythm I down the stairs. Wait, trip down the stairs. Yeah, I know. A little bit like good you felt. Dactylic yes. smoothness there. But well, then you go well, into well, your well, if you're strong trochaic yes, affirmation. A, you a are peg leg coming down the stairs. It's <laughs> probably not appropriate. I no, you see, because I, I had, I had uh, the defraud, let anyone down. Let anyone down was one. I, yeah, I, I tried no, that, defraud, that's a natural defraud, one. I no won't good. let you down. Uh, and I promise I won't let you down. Yeah. But I thought, well, because he's coming down the stairs, it's, it's a sort of. Yeah. And now I'll go down those stairs. Stair well, mine, see, my, my, mine is, is I'm, what I was, I was prizing rhythm over anything else, so I went for a pure I am. Okay. And now I'll go down those stairs which lead outside, and I promise I won't let you down. De da, de da, de da, de da. Yeah. Well, that's so, more how you so point out the stairs. Yes. The smoothness of my rhythm there. We got the art though, the same. The what? Well, Cadon and al exterior. Yes. Well, Which lead outside. Oh uh, yeah, exterior. Uh, rhythm. The lead. Well, that's happy with lead out. Shall we read yeah. what, uh, yeah, what yeah. Mr. Venuti put? <laughs> we haven't looked at it, by the way. Do you want to read it, alright? You do. Oh. I don't know what Venuti's voice is like these days. What a crappy poet I'd be if I scrammed, and after sampling the really nasty bits, didn't feel up to making my deposition. Mm -hmm. Because this could happen. Don't go halfway, daughters of Zeus and Anosony. Inspire in me a poetry that doesn't concede the benefit of the doubt, that scrapes together profound thoughts and enables this our world so inscrutable to seem transparent. That like a key in a lock can open doors to a quickening wind as well as the laundry room. Oh. Mm. That like an expansive wave extends its reach o'er hill and dale. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Megalomaniac Greek users clarify what must be done so as to fix in incontrovertible words the aesthetic principle of landscapes and days with dawns and dusks and nights with moons and penumbras and even so the spectacle of the populace and urban areas in disarray and the sorcery of modern societies. Instead of watching television or standing around with your hands in your pockets, don't abandon my plan and give me the nerve to grasp the wonders of life. Now I'll descend the stairs that lead outside and not worry about letting anybody down. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, no, there are lots of good things going yeah. on there. He's, he's, he's done a couple of things. I don't know about going into the laundry room. No, I think he got. I think I've, um, um, <laughs> okay, well, no, I mean, that, that, but he's got the lock. He wants to unlock the laundry room, but Sefereci is outside. 
in in the village. You can't you can't unlock. It's a public wash place. No, no, but no, 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 because the saffarets can come to mean the laundry that room? Wash, washing room, the room in your house where you've got your washing machine and your sink and, and your maybe something to hang the clothes up with. So, it, it can uh, come to mean that. So I mean, he's, he's not wrong there. Is, um, not Actually, well, the only thing is, so to me, the Safavids, if he's going, it's, it's, it's about going out into the life giving air. So I, you know, I, I thought of going, okay, going what, out into the world and out into a community where you can talk with people. Yeah. What he's done, he's, he's got a longer verse than we have, and so he added the lock, uh, a lock to open doors hmm. to a cricketing wind. So he's opening a, a door which <laughs> the wind comes in and he's opening the laundry room. Because you've got this whole new image that we that the poem doesn't have, I think, or that does it. Well, it Because uh, the poem doesn't have a door there. No, it's open. It's, not. it's so open you can't see it. What is? The door. In the, it's a doorway rather than a, in a painting. Yeah, not the painting, the, the, the text. Come una clau a pagno. Ah, obri las portas. Jesus, I haven't left the walls. Open doors? Oh yes. Yeah. Which, like a key to a lock, opens doors yeah, yeah, yeah. to the life-giving air. Yeah, yeah quickening, quickening air. wind. Quite good. It was quite sort of religious. What about the Oa Hill and Dale? Oh, what the hell's going yeah, on? That, that, oh, that, that, that was a prefabricated piece of poetry. But, but he wants it there to be ironic. No, no, yeah, yeah. Don't know why Oa Hill. Well, I mean, the thing is, also, to run, it's, it's hardly, it doesn't sort of feel very to run the hills. Yeah, yeah, but, but not but the impressive hills. But the the thing we were worried about is the Esquarax. He just uh, gave up. What did he say? Over hill and dale. Okay, right, yeah. An expansive wave extends its reach over hill and dale. Right, right the, thing, the thing is, you, I mean, over hill and dale is just like a standard poetic phrase. Yeah. I mean, there are songs. That's, it's actually a quote from... Uh, it's actually a quote from Midsummer Night's Dream, Is one it? of the songs by Puck. Yeah, yeah, I right. think so. Um, certainly, oh yeah, oh hell there. So what's he um, doing there? Well, I mean, he's he's doing this very smart little literary reference. Um, he doesn't know what it's called, on, kids. Uh, no, no. But the trouble is that he absolutely loses the picture of local Catalan landscape. I mean, because because yeah. of the particular way that um, hills are constructed here out of conglomerates of small stones, that the the, the 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 way the rain carves sections in it is particular to the landscape here. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me you haven't noticed on your excursion. No, I got pictures of it. I was translating the picture here when I got river cracked hills. Yeah. Uh, so, um, okay, the trouble is that the river is was was strong. I mean, it's not exactly a river. I know, I was looking for a stream cracked, well, so actually stream cracked hills. Rain, would be nice. rain carved, there you go. Rain carved You can't beat that. Mm. Could, well, that better be rain carved, we'll do that. Especially because Esquilang has that translation. No, but carved could the, be the outline. We want the no, no, rain cracked. Carved by the rain. Right. Crack. It's a crack in the hill. Right. Uh, what did he have for the, the half meters tintus? What, what was his solution to that? No, no, it's quite good though. At the top. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, it, no, oh, no, in a poetry that doesn't exceed the benefit of the doubt, where is it? Don't go halfway. Don't go halfway. Mm. So, yeah, sort of so in, uh, pretty safe. It's safe. And, and, and what a crappy poet that'd be. I thought his, his, his opening uh, sounded very, very American to me. Yeah, well, the, his argument is that he has to sound like Hopper. Oh, right. So he's using terms that Hopper might have used. Yeah. Um, so Scram is... So I mean, I was looking Split, but Split is far too late. It's hippie type stuff. Is it? Uh, Scram could yeah. be 40s. Crappy could be Scarpa Scarpa would be too British. Scarpa would definitely be British. But also the business about the deposition. Yeah, that's nice too. Yeah, I thought that was okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but then the, the nasty really bits? nasty bit is for Bo i Dolent, so he's leaving out the What about the the the, the good and the bad? Yeah. Um And the last oh it's the 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 descend the stairs that lead outside and not worry about letting anyone down. I think we're rather more poetic, John. I think. So, say that read again. The last one. Now I'll descend the stairs that lead outside, and not worry about letting anybody down. Which is actually quite ambiguous. He said, "I don't care if I let you down." No, Whereas no, yeah, says, I'm not going to let you down. Yeah, there's a promise there, isn't there? Yeah. So it's and, and I think wrong, we, Larry. We we were definitely more rhythmic. Uh, I'll speak for myself. I, I don't know what's going on with these rhythms, actually. 
No, it's, it doesn't come it across. It just to you. Froze, froze. Instead of watching television and standing around with your hands in your pockets, don't abandon my plan and give me the nerve to grasp the wonders of life. Now I'll descend the stairs that lead outside and not, and not worry about letting anybody down. It doesn't scan at all. It, it, it doesn't sort of build up into... I mean, the thing is, OK, so what, what would be the right sort of rhythm to aim for? Well, Because okay. when you look at the Catalan, he, he is... I mean, he's definitely controlling his cervical count, that's for sure. But, but there, there's, there's, not, there's not sort of any attempt at rhyming, which is fairly standard. No, right. But, you def- but it's definitely, the lines definitely have a sort of syllabic type regularity to them. So I think you've, yes. got, you've got to aim for some sort of feeling of regularity. So it's, it's a sort of T.S. Eliot thing. Well, it doesn't become clockwork. It shouldn't become clockwork, but you should hear it. And, and the, the rhythm should become regular. Oh, that's pretty bit regular, and then it will just sort of slightly quieten down. And then no, but he does it in the previous stuff with the the, the sweet poetry stuff: days with dawns and dusks, and nights with moons and penumbra. Penumbra is fine, is it? And even so, the spectacle of the populace and urban areas in disarray, and the sorcery of well, sorcery is lovely. Of modern society, sorcery. this is super worked. Oh, okay, but, yeah, yes. This has got the alliteration, it's, it's, it's the rhythm, and then the, the last uh, stanza, it just disappears. Encise de las societas modernas? Encise, sorcery is okay, enchantment. I, I, I wouldn't have put well, I have fascination. Fascination, um, yeah. Encise can be a spell. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, that, that, I suppose the trouble is because he's got so, because the original has got so many parallel structures there. He de las needs and las algas los fuscans, he de las needs and las lunas y penumbra. I mean, that lends itself to um, going into very sort of poetic rendition. Okay. John, we've time's up, I think. Good. No, well, that's okay. I mean, so I, I you're not going to fail him? No, no. I think. Just on the last verse, I, I think, think we're, we're pretty much on a level with each other. All right. That was it. Thank you, Blindsman. Thank you, Paul Yes.